Okay. Hello, my kako. Aloha, everyone. And uh, welcome to our Iko Lalo Virtual Hawaiian Language class. Ke kala iwakalua o apelila papa um, or opa number 26. And today, ahepo alua ke ia, it's Tuesday. Uh, here's our agenda for today. Simple. Um, and again, our lesson is going to be about Mary Kabana Pukui, um, because it's her lahana, because her 126. Um, yeah, if you guys can fill out the answers to these questions, ovai koinoa, noho oi ihea, just for old time's sake. Um, I don't think we have anyone new today. Yeah, we don't, so. Oh, Jennifer, yeah. Jennifer, is this your first class? I think so. It is, yes. Oh, yes. Aloha. Thank you. Aloha. Sorry, I was having issues. I, I use Teams for work, and this is the first time I'm using Zoom. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. No, no worries. Where are you joining us from? Uh, I live in Seattle, but I'm from Hilo. Awesome. Oh, thank you for joining. Uh, okay. So, yeah, if you guys can type your name and where you're joining from in the chat, uh, just for everyone else. And we'll move on from there. Okay, and Jennifer, we, I usually call on the new person to class if they can read the our values or our loina. Um, you think you can do that for us? Sure. Thank you. Uh, na loina values. We will practice the following values in. Let me move this screen in this class. Aloha kekahi kekahi. Love one another. We are anohana. Ho ihi aku ho ihi mai. Be respectful on camera and in the chat. E kulia i kanu. Strive to be the very best you can be. Aa i ka olelo mai hila hila. Dare to speak. Don't be shame in class. Awesome job. Thank you so much. So yeah, you guys know um, this is what we go. With, you know how class goes with these loina. Um, and our kunihi, does anyone want to start us off with kunihi or chant for us that didn't get to go yet? Um, oh, Auntie's not here. I just want to ask Auntie. Oh, Erika's mic's on. Um, <laughs> I went already. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let me turn this on. Oh, I thought you turned your mic on for a reason, though. No, I didn't even realize it was on. So I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> um, okay. Kunihi kamona ha. Kunihi kamona ikala ye o wai ale ale la i wai lu wai. Who kia ela e kalani kapapa oa yoka waikini? Alaya ela e no no nalokai puha. Kalola moka o kapa e. Mai pa i kale e ole ka hea mai e. E he ai ke kanaka e kumu malo ko e hana ya ya he vai ko ha e ya no ka ukula o kale o a he le o kale no e. Good job. Thank you. Okay, so um yes, I had a lot of comments or maybe emails and yeah about if we can do more practice on Anna. Okay. Um, so yes, we can do some more practice on Anna. That's totally fine. So let's do some review of last week's or last two classes that we had. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do now, yeah, we're gonna practice some more. What we're gonna do now is uh, create sentences using these kind of prompts. Okay, um, if you're just joining us for the first time, Jennifer, we're learning a structure that um, is called kia pepeke, which is a ana sentence, and all it really does is add an ing to the end of a verb. Okay, so like, um, dri to drive would be driving. 
Okay, if that makes sense. Um, so what I want you guys to do is use these kind of prompts right here, and you're gonna create sentences. Let's just go one at a time, okay? So, um, you know, everyday kind of thing. So this first one, mahopeo ko'u ala ana, after my waking up, or after I wake up, um, you can just fill in the blank, okay? So just, yeah, all you're really doing is finishing the sentence for this example. Okay, so mahopeo ko'u ala ana, what do you guys do? Doesn't have to be real, doesn't have to be, you know, what you do every day. It can just you can just make it up. Okay, so Mahope Kuala Anna, what do you do? Good, that's your hairline exactly. Yeah, Lena Ava, there you go. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, Tihelani, you want to read your example? Ai hiki no. Mahope o ku'u ala ana make make yao AI, but I want to change it to I like brush my teeth first, then eat. Okay. Mahope o ku'u ala ana make make yao e palaki ku'u mau niho. Yeah. And then eat. Uh, hele e ai? Yeah, hele ai. Yeah, that, that okay. works. Good. Um, I think what we get confused about is that, um, you know, this is not a, we always forget, or even me too, that this is not a complete sentence, you know, and you kind of just do mahope o ko ala ana. Um, that's probably the main part that, kind of confuses us because the secondary part, the one that you guys are writing out, that's easy. You guys can do that with whatever you want, yeah? But just remember that this, to be a key up a sentence, you need some kind of ana in it. Yeah, does that make sense, hopefully? Um, okay, let's try this one. Mamua o ko'u ai ana. Mamua o ko'u ai ana. After my eating. Oh no, before my eating. Mamua o ko'u ai ana. What do you do? Again, you can be anything. Mamua o ko'u ai ana pule au. Mamua o ko'u ai ana kuke au i kamea ai. Mamua o ko'u ai ana pololi au. Kind of stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, good. Good, Kelly. Yeah. Good sentence. Good, Lena. All a great sentence. Okay, I'm going to ask Kelly if she can read hers first. Very mid sip. Mamua o ko'u ai ana ua kuke au ike kalo. So before I ate, I cooked the kalo. Yep, exactly. And Lena Ala, can you read yours? Mamua o ko'u ai ana, o la loao ya'u, don't eat too much. Aka, I eat too much. That means before my eating, I tell myself, don't eat too much, but I eat too much. Exactly. Yep. It's not a problem. It's just a, a thing. Okay, um, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's, yeah, it's a lifestyle choice. Um, good, good, good. Okay, and let's do it's just your food diet. Let's do yes, Tammy. Can you read yours? Okay. Just the ending part, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can read the whole thing. Yeah. Mamo o kou ai ana. Make make au i e pule. Yeah. And that means. May I ask a question? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I get confused on when 
it's correct to say make make or ua. You know what I'm saying? Um, like like or liked is that? Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess it's all contextual, so you can like if it's more like habitual, something that you always do, it would just be a regular make make. Um, if you something in the past, like. Um, it doesn't really matter. It depends on what you want to say. Okay, and the, and what, like you just said now, it's like it's present, past, and future like that, right? Yeah, past. So, so past tense like, would be ua make make. Okay, yeah. okay. So ua make make you know, hele or something. Okay. Yeah. I don't, yeah, while we're at it, does anyone else have any other questions about Anna before moving forward? Like specific questions? I know it's hard, very hard, but okay. All right. Yeah, if you have questions, just stop me because I want to make sure we, we hit the points before we move on. All right, here's another one. Iko uhana Anna. So the E again shows us while, while or when. So Iko uhana Anna. While I work, what do you what do you finish that sentence for me? Iko uhana ana blank blank blank. Iko uhana ana um make make al e emo. I don't know what's up. Good reef. <laughs> exactly. Okay, Erika, you want to read yours? I koo hana ana e pa ani o ek Candy Crush. Yep. While I work, I play Candy Crush. Okay, my cutie. Um, let's jump to uh Pomohala. Ikou hana ana kiko kiko wao ike kame kuila. I type on the computer. Yep. While I work, I type on the computer. Good job. Oh, and Jennifer, that's a good example. You want to read yours? Okay. Iko uhana ana olelo ao. While I work, I talk. So do you have background with Hawaiian already? Um, I took up to 202 at Manoa. Oh, good. Yeah. But that was a long, long, long time <laughs> ago. But I watched a few of your videos um, this past week. I was trying to catch up. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, good. Um, and Carly, you want to read yours? I koo hana ana irritated kiki. While I work, I'm irritated with the <laughs> Are you in um, Timbuktu or something? Your internet is junk. Do. Okay, bye. Um, okay, yeah. So she said, Iko uhana ana irritated ao mena keki sometimes. When I work, I'm irritated with the children sometimes. Now you know how I feel. Okay, and let's jump to number four. <laughs> let's jump to number four. Um, make make ao. This one's easy. Just whatever you like to do. What do you like to do? Make make ao ika hia moe ana. Make make ao ika ai ana. Make make ao. Good. Good. How only? Yeah. This is a great kind of thing. She left. Harley. I was joking. Good. Okay, let's go through everyone, see what everyone likes to do. 
Um, let's just go in order. Um, how old are you? You want to read yours? Sit back. Make make o i ka hia moi i kala apau maluhi luhi o. Okay, Carrie, you want to read yours? Make make o i ka hia moi ana all day every day. Okay, Leah, just we're gonna try and go through everyone. Uh, make make au i ka pena ki i ana. I cut you, she likes to paint or draw. Um, Lena Ala. Lena, Lena Ala. <laughs> okay, listen, I know that internet is not a verb to most people, but it's a verb to me. Okay. So, make make au i ka internet ana. It is one of my only hobbies. And we're not judging you. Okay, done. <laughs> Okay, Makeo, you can hear my Anna. Hey, Bianca. Okay, Makeo, you can hear Anna. Good. April. Make Makeo, he, no, sorry. Make Makeo, you can hear Anna. Me too. Pomo hala. Make Makeo, you can hear Humu Humu Anna. I like sewing. Oh, sorry, yeah. Mililani. We have a lot of hia moe anas, which is fine. We love sleeping. Pamela. Yeah, great. Erika. Oh, I looked your other one. Oh, okay. Inu ana ki me vayu ame boba. I like Love. drinking milk tea with boba. Love it. Reef. Maki maki au i ka haalele ana i ka hana. Yeah. Love it. I like leaving work. Yeah, I love leaving work. Cool. Hea leti hea lani. Maki maki au i ka mea ai o koa i ka pule a pa. I want to, if I want it, I want to say maki maki au a different restaurant if I want to eat at a different restaurant every week. Yeah. Um, so you know how you said mea ai o koa? It would, I know you're trying to Maybe. say ika, maki maki au ika ai ana. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so maki maki au ika ai ana and then at different restaurants, mana hale aina. Uh, I'll just say like all like all kinds of different restaurants. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Is that what you're going I, for? Okay. Thank you, um, Jennifer. And yeah, Jennifer. I'm pretty sure kia i is not the right word. I'm not sure if it's ike, but make make o ika kia i TV. I like to watch TV. Yeah. Is it ike? Um, it would be na na. So make o ika na na kivi ana. Nana Kivi Anna. Oh, I forgot the Anna. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no worries. Okay, cool. And Carly, let's see if your thing works. Make make au i ka hi meni ana maloko o ke ka. Oh, there you go. Oh, better. Okay, good. Um, and then this last one, I kind of just threw it in. But again, why did like a reason why you joined this Hawaiian language class? Let's see um, what verb you guys end up choosing. So, well, como au ika papa olola Hawaii? No ka ke blank ana. Why did you join this class? See what you get, what you guys can finish up with. I joined this class because or for the blank ana. So the no no ana shows for the um, purpose of or in order to. Yeah. Yeah, no ke a o ana mai. Mai at the end. It's okay. No? You're good. You want to read yours? Erika? Yeah. Wa komo au i ke ia papa o le loho vai no ke a o ana mai. Good. 
Okay. And this class uh, for the learning. Yep, for the learning or the um, enlightenment thing. I don't know. Okay, Kelia, you want to read yours? We'll do two more. Yep. And that, you want to, sorry, your translation is real fast. Um, I am in the Hawaiian language class to perpetuate the Hawaiian language. Okay. And Reef, last one. Yeah. Try to meet new friends and practice. So, mahalo. Yeah, that's very good. He joined the class to meet new friends and to practice and for the practicing. Okay, I think we're good. Um, if you guys have questions again, uh, just stop me. Uh, but this entire lesson that we're going to get into is going to be practicing more about that. Okay, so we'll get more into it throughout. Okay, so going to our next lesson about Mary Kavena Pupui. And we went, we talked about her before in one of our uh, Mahino Alavai lessons, but this is more specifically because she, it's her birthday. She was born on April 20th, 1895. So I think this is her 126th birthday. Um, but for me, you know, she's just always going to be that that I always strive to be and always look up to. Um, I think we all should, yeah. So, um, our Olelo no Eo, can you read our Olelo no Eo for us, please? Um, let's see, April. Hey, um, a i i ku makani mai au ohe makani nana i ku la i. Okay, and that means? Oh, sorry. I'm I'm a wind resisting Aali'i. No gales can push me over. Okay, so I'm a wind If you know what the Aali'i looks like or its characteristics, it's a Aali Kumakani, which means when the wind blows, no matter how strong it is, um, it's still going to stand up against the wind. Okay, so I feel like that is a good representation of our Olaru Hawaii, but also as Mary Kovena Pukui. Um, you know, to describe her personality. She's very kupa'a, very um, steadfast and strong. Um, even when people were going against her for creating the Hawaiian Dictionary and the Pukeo no Eao and sharing our language so freely, um, she didn't stop. Yeah, she just continued. Um, she didn't let anything push her over. Okay, so what does this Olelo no Eao mean to you, um, you know, specifically? in your life? How can this Olano no Eo help you um, become a better speaker, become a better person, just become a better Hawaiian or you know, person that lives in Hawaii? You know? Yes, Lena Ala, you can read. Uh, to me, it means that I am stubborn and dedicated and steadfast and Nine times out of ten, I'm on some kind of mission. No one can stop me. I am put an evil laugh. I will not do the evil laugh. Um, <laughs> I feel like that's just a part of my personality. I'm very stubborn. Um, yeah, that's that's what that means to me. The lifestyle. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay, and let's get um, Don's one. Last one, Don. I put, I will stand my ground no matter what or who is against me. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, this is a great Ola no Eo for you to have in your arsenal of Ola no Eo. So keep it close to you. Um, it's a very good reminder of to be strong. And, you know, like Lena Ola says, no one can stop you. Mahaha. All right. So... When I upload this later on after tonight's class, um, there's a good kind of bio about Mary Kovena Pukui right here. That's, um, you can read through on your own. But as we move forward, um, I also want to ask the question, why are you thankful for Mary Kovena Pukui's legacy? Okay, we can just have a quick discussion about this too. 
Um, and you don't need to type it. Does anyone want to just say their answer out loud? Hawaiian dictionary. Yeah, definitely. She, without her, we wouldn't have the dictionary. Sorry, what was that, Erika? The Olelo no Eo. Yep, Puke Olelo no Eo. Any others? Uh, I don't have any family members who speak Hawaiian, so if I didn't have things like the dictionary, I wouldn't have anywhere else to, like anyone to go and ask or to go and check. Yeah, exactly. I think the dictionary um, is probably the most important tool that we have for today. She also, Hanai Francis, Pat Namaka Bacon, and they yes. passed on and perpetuated that knowledge to other people and shared it with just like made sharing a common thing. Yeah, exactly. Made it open because, you know, our language was kapu at a time. Um, but if she didn't do what she did, I always say this, if she didn't do what she did, then our, we wouldn't be here today. We wouldn't have this class. We wouldn't have one at all. It would be gone. I think it was, she was the foremost um, pioneer of Olala Hawaii um, perpetuation. Okay, any other mana'o? No. I'll go. Oh, yeah, Oli. Um, the aloha of the language itself mm -hmm. and being willing to compile the stories that still haven't been brought forward at the Bishop Museum because yeah. they're still, I don't know, uh, organizing it. No. But she but started. There's so much in there that we don't matter. Yeah, and that's probably a majority, big part, um, thanks to her. Yeah, with her, again, her steadfast and her forward thinking and all that stuff. Okay, um, Lena, Allah, you put some good comments. You want to read yours? Um. So she has compiled so much information in Ike in her lifetime. Um, in my opinion, she is the single most useful resource for Olalo Hawaii. Um, in addition to that, I do think she, that she is the primary inspiration for all of the you know, practitioners and um, other historians and compilers of information that came after her. Um, and I will also like kind of mention that it's not just specifically for like Olelo as Olelo, like learning a language. I mean, she also did um, Olelo no Eau, which I think is super important because it also plays into how native Hawaii thought, mm -hmm. what their thought process was, how they saw things. And then from there, you know, learning those and, and looking at those, we do this in pretty much every class where we take an Olalo no Eau and we apply it to our own lives. And we bring a lot of that native culture into modern day lifestyles. And I love that. She's yeah. awesome. She's, yeah. She um, definitely helps us to help me to create this class, you know, without her again, I wouldn't have that. And I'm glad you, you remember that each Olano, each class has an Olano Eau tied to it, and that's because of her as well. So thank you. All right, good good discussion about her, and mahalo for all that she does. Okay, so I kind of want to do this differently. Um, what I'm going to have you guys do is I'm going to split you guys up into breakout rooms first, and then we're with that we're going to um, each take a section. So. I created six different slides, which you'll see, um, and they each have three sentences on it. So in your groups, I'm going to give you guys maybe 10 minutes to translate the sentences together as a group. And then when we come after the 10 minutes, we'll come back and we'll present it out to the class. Okay, we're going to be doing it a little bit different tonight. Um, but yeah, there's going to be the Pepekea Ano, and if you need help, the slide right before the sentences is going to be the um, the the guide or kind of the structure part. So we have the pepeke ano um, descriptive ana. We have the make make ana. We have the mamua o anas 
mahopeo anas, the e, which means while or when, ana, and also no, for the purpose of ana. Okay, and all of these kind of describe a certain part of her life or something, a big significant um, uh, time in her life. So yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna break you guys up and I, maybe it would be best if you guys each had your own um, slides open so you can have the slides to look at while you guys translate them. Um, okay, so here are the groups. I'm gonna just name one person in the group. I'm gonna tell you what you what you have to do, okay? We're just gonna go in order. So breakout room number one, which is anti April, you're gonna have um, the first Pepekea Ano Ana. Okay, so your group will do that. Breakout room number two, Erika, you're gonna be Make Make Ana, those slides. Um, breakout room number three, Carly, you'll be Mamua Ana. Breakout room number four, um, Antihe Alani, you're going to be Mahope Ana. Five will be um, Bianca's group, you're going to have E Ana. And six is Kelia's group, you're going to have No Ana. Okay, so if you remember, um, hopefully you remember, <laughs> you'll be kind of the alakai for that. Okay, so you guys can go, just make sure your things are open. Okay, yeah, smart. I'm going to switch her then. Um, can you send the slides one more time? Yeah, yeah. Keolu Alunani. Let me send it right now, sorry. Don't go yet. It's up with your computer. I don't know, I just lost internet. And so I, and so. Leave and then, or actually, sign me out. But then, thank you. Yeah, I might switch Carrie to Antigone's group for you with your way. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Go to your group because they might need help. Okay, bye. Bye. Hi, Kapoa. Hi. Feel better. You're going to stay here? Yeah, I'm going to stay here. Okay. I'll be back. I'll be back. Bye. 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 I, 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 I can read the You can read the sentence yeah. that. Let me, let me put it in the chat so for you. Okay, and then, I, then I open the chat. Is that what I do? Oh, Palema did it. Yeah. yeah, she did it already. She put the first one that I read. You guys are doing um, descriptive, Ana, yeah? Uh, okay, Ana. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So my cut. Oh, I see it. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's the TV. My mom. Oh! I was just wondering. It sounded so familiar. I was like. <laughs> Who's, who's listening to the Kepani in the background? So we just do the three translations on the on the second slide, right? Yes. Um not wait. Sec oh yeah, second slide of Makemaki, yeah. Right, right, yeah. Okay. okay. Sounds good. So um anti tell me anti done. Okay, Mamua. Okay, so um, Mamua or Shannon. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> awesome. Uh, How was your, tra your travels? It was fun. Yeah, I'm. Um, so now I'm back on Kauai. So now I'm settling in. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, nice but yeah it was really fun. Well, yeah, I haven't so, been to class for a little while, so I, for some reason I thought it was 7.30, and then I just realized, and I was like, oh, no, I'm late. Yeah, yeah. No, even um, stuff, um, Iolani, she said, oh, I'm back at work. It's hard for me to come to class because I'm tired. I was like, oh, no worries. You're good. Uh, yeah, yeah, she took um, my boyfriend's job. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. So they, they work with their brother over there, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> so she's helping yeah. them again. So were you able to look at the old lessons that you missed? 
Um, I looked at last classes one. I think it was okay. the last one. Yeah. yeah. And then I think I still have to look at the one before that one. But I went over, I looked over the last one you guys are doing, the Mamua, right? Yeah. And that's Mamua, the one oh, And then the Ana. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I kind of, so Mamua is the, wait, is that the, before. Wait, I forget. It's before. Okay. Yeah. Before, so before doing this, I yeah, will do exactly. this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like a cause, cause, not a cause and effect, but kind of like that. Yeah. And Carly, mm -hmm. Carly, get them. She can help you. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, okay, bye. Um, um, yeah. yeah. Well, after nice. she was born. Oh, nice. she she was born. After was born. Oh, she, she was adopted, adopted by her, by her, her grandma. grandma. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you guys are after Anaya. Yes. Okay, just checking. <laughs> Hello. You guys have Hello? E or E? E. e I e. hope. I'm just going to get E. <laughs> you tell me. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, he or learning, or to learn, learning the hula with mm -hmm. Maka. Yeah. You guys don't know Anna. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we have about six minutes left, so it's enough time, I think. Okay. Learning the hula with Maka. Yeah. Yeah, Kavana met with Kiahi. Oh, we can hold Oya right now. Bye. Aloha, <laughs> Kumu. Bye, Kumu. Nahe, nahe, Kumu. Is the first one, Mary Kavana is good at memorizing Hawaii Mo'olelo? Yes, good. Yeah. Um, with the loa, you, I think you're just missing the loa. Very good. Very. Super good. Super good. And memorizing the Hawaiian stories. Yeah. So, Kum, could you say it another way that if you were to look at it from English to Olelo Hawaii? Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I, I'm a little bit confused because of the ko. I'm sorry if I'm stuck on time. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. So, the, the ko is shows, possessive, yeah? Yeah, it shows a possession. So, it's kind of like you're saying, Mary, yeah, if you want to translate it like this. So, Mary Kavana Pupu'i's memorizing of the Hawaiian stories is good. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like you're adding the apostrophe S. I, I. Yeah, yeah. That's a better way of looking at it. Yeah. Memorizing of the. Okay. Any other questions or ho'oyas? I, I have one real quick. Um, I, you know, I'm so exacting when I think about mm -hmm. our Olelo Hawaii, and just because of this is where I'm at um, in, in in with you, Kumu. But as I go through all this with you, it seems like everything doesn't have to be so exacting as long as we get yeah. the general gist of it. Yeah, and it's exactly. Olele. Yeah, and you know, like sometimes people miss a certain word when they're translating it, but they have the gist of it. So in my opinion, yeah. but if you know, like you're talking about the black dog and you say the orange cat, then I'm going to call you out on it. But, you okay. know, normally, normally people, <laughs> I think in this class especially, we get it. We get what we're talking about. The wording may be a little bit different, but I think, you know. As long, like, as long as we get the general gist, it's... it's 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 yeah, uh it's not to call a lay, but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. And you know, I know for some other classes, maybe at the university level, they're yeah. just so nitpicky about what it is, which is a good thing. It, it is a good thing, but I, for this I, class specifically, I don't wanna turn people off in that way, you know. So yeah. Yes. Okay. A little bit more freedom. That's so my cutie. Yeah. I can yeah, look I, at it like that. Yeah. yeah. Very great, Kumu. Oh. Thank you so much. Thank, yeah. you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, uh, we're at three minutes, but I think we might need some more time. But 
we'll see. I'll go, I gotta go check everyone off. Thank you. Follow Singing is yeah. That's how I got the Ua Maki Maki or Mary. Which Mary loved learning to love learning dancing and chanting. That's it. Okay. Oh, you got the you got the Maki Maki kind of yeah. person. Yeah, you got that one. Good. <laughs> Do you, does that make sense now? After seeing it? Okay, cool. It, it, it helped us, like we were talking, for me and I guess Cousin Don, being yeah. by ourselves is harder than being like this in a group. Because we, yeah, yeah. we feed off of each other and, you know, yeah. it's like, oh, okay, you know. And yeah. For me, I look at the thing more into, you know, it's like, oh, and then Don goes, I cheated, you know, I get my veje veje up. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, totally. You need it sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but sometimes. Oh. Try all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's like almost every other word or every third word. I yeah. hear kind of up. Every yeah. time when they put the answers in the chat box and I'm sitting there going like, I don't know that word. I don't know that word. I don't yeah. like the translation because otherwise I don't get time to look all these up. Yeah. Hey, I don't feel alone now. No. <laughs> I love it. We're all in here together. Okay. Yeah, no, we yeah, we are. And I think with this structure in particular, I'm okay spending more time on it because you know, we I just gotta make it pa'a. Well, I like I this say, structure. This me too. Yeah. Uh, it's helping me construct you know, um sentences. I think yeah. I'm getting to know like how it's you know, in for the reason of like, you know, and because, you know, I was like, oh, wow, I don't love that for this amount of words. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, I like it. I have posted notes all over my desk. I love um, it. <laughs> my husband said, um, I don't know what you posted notes doing under my pillow. I said, I waited for the food fairy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> said, you gotta get one Jason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> then, so, uh, yeah. We oh, did yeah. so I love this group. Yeah, yeah it's so bad. Yeah, so. I love it. Okay. Can oh, and Kumo, I got my book. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I got, I got um, awesome. Kelio Kalani College over here. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Hello. Yeah. Oh, are you by Kahaka Ula? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's where I work. Kind of, sort of. You're over here? Well, no, no I'm on online. like online. They oh. they hired me for just a little bit to teach one course, but through Kahakaula. I oh, love that. yeah. I always order from them. <laughs> They're the best. Yeah. Yes. That's what, um, awesome. Okay, yeah. hey, you guys finished or you guys have one more? Oh, no, we pull. No, okay. We pull. <laughs> All right. Eric was so oh, no. A plus class. Are you kidding? A plus group. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah, awesome. I'll see you guys back there. Yay. Okay, mahalo. There they are. Okay, we'll wait for everyone to come back. I think that was just enough time for everyone. Hello. Bianca Shannon's back. Is she? Is she? Yeah. I think she came in right before we went into the into rooms. Oh, yeah. so finally. <laughs> oh, maybe she left. I don't see her anymore. Oh, there she is.
Okay, cool. So let's go through these. Um, I'm gonna call on you and if you can do me a favor, hi Lena, um, if you can do me a favor and uh, when it gets to your group, maybe read the Hawaiian. Let's have everyone talk, hopefully. So read one Hawaiian and then your English translation that you created as a group, okay? So we're gonna start with group number one, breakout room number one, which was Pepeke A'ano Kia Pepeke. Remember, this is a description describing the Kia Pepeke. Okay, so group number one, who is that? And that to April or April. Uh, wait, where's the first slide? No, wait. No, that wasn't the first one. Mai ka iloa ko kavena ho'opa'a na'au ana ina mo'alela hova'i. Ko... Kavena is very good at memorizing the Hawaiian stories. Good job. Kavena is very good at memorizing the Hawaiian stories. And if you wanted to translate it a little bit more like on the nose, which we talked about this earlier, you don't have to, but you would, could say Kavena's memorizing of the stories, the Hawaiian stories are very good, okay? Same thing, if you get the gist of it, which either translation you have is fine. Okay, let's go to the next one. Who else in the group? Nahe nahe ko Kavena, Oliana anani maoli no konahula ana. Kavena's sweet chanting and her really beautiful dancing. Okay, yeah, and that's all good. Um, I guess, too, if you wanted to, so you got the gist of it. If you wanted to make it more on the nose, you would say, Kavena's chanting is sweet and her dancing is very beautiful. But, you you know, you got all the, all the parts in your translation, too. Um, okay, the last one. Let's get someone else in the group. Reef, Auntie. Um, Lehi Lani. Oina ole ko Mary Kavena Pukui Haku Mele Ana. And that would be her songwriting is unforgettable. Good job. Okay. That's my cut. Can you guys put the translations in the chat for us, please? If you guys have all three. Okay. Cool. So, again, a little bit more about her. Um, she took all of the stories of our Hawaiian people and she kind of internalized them and made it more accessible for us. So that's why I did this first one. The second one is her chanting. I didn't hear it before. I heard it was very sweet, very, very calm. She looks like a calm person, you know, so I, I kind of, I believe that. Um, and then also the songs that she wrote are very unforgettable. I mean, as Hula dancers, maybe we can speak about it, Auntie Helani. All of her songs are one of a kind. Hua hihi, hua lele hua, um, you know, all those ones. So, yeah, these are some good sentences for her. Okay. Let's jump to the second one, which is her make make o, i ka blank ana. I like, and then the kia pepeke part. So let's start with this group number two. I forget who is in group number two, but group number two. Maybe one. Oh, maybe. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. <laughs> they call themselves the A plus group. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ua make make o Mary i ke ao ana mai i kahula ana me ke oli ana. Mary love learning to love learning dancing and chanting. Good job. Okay. So you have a lot of anas in there. You have the ao ana, hula ana and Oli Anna, um, but you got it all good. And then the Ua Make Make, you guys see how she said loved, and that's fine too. It, you know, you could say Ua Aloha, but it's the same kind of thing. Ua Make Make, Ua Aloha, same kind of feel to it. So good translation. Next, let's go to um, Erika or Don. I have a Ua Make Make, O Mary Ika Imi Anna. Mary likes searching for new vocabulary words in the dictionary. Good job. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you guys, I mean, we, we all know she was the creator of this Hawaiian language dictionary. 
And when she went around the islands to look for the different words, again, she had some backlash about it, but she kind of, I heard that she enjoyed the process. She enjoyed um, meeting the kupuna, um, even though some people didn't reciprocate that same kind of feel, but you know, she worked hard for us in creating this dictionary. Okay, and the last one, Erika. Make make nui o i ko Mary Haku Meleana ina Mele Hawaii. I greatly like Mary's composing of Hawaiian songs. Good job. Okay, and for me as a musician, um, definitely. She, she has some of the classics, which we talked about earlier. And I want to leave some time at the end to sing a few songs for you folks. So, yeah, we didn't do Kani Kapila a long time, yeah? Okay, next group, Mamua O plus Kia Pepeke. So, again, before blank ing something 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 so there's definitely this has kind of a um, storied feel to this sentence structure yeah so there has to be two kind of elements involved okay group number three um, well, oh, oh, i can do this person Mamua o ko kavena hanao pepe ana wahanai oya ike kahi pepe kepani. So before kavena had a baby, she cared for a Japanese baby. Yeah, so. Um, uh, empty pet. Right? Yeah, exactly. So she cared for, that's the same thing as um, hanai. Yeah. Like adopted, so she adopted a Japanese baby who was anti-patient stomach bacon. Okay, and that's who Erika was talking about earlier. So before Kavena gave birth to a baby or had a baby, she adopted a Japanese baby. Okay, from Kauai at the time. Okay, good. Let's jump to the next one, Carly or Highland. Mamua o ko kavena ao ana i kahula me Joseph ila laule ua uma ama a oia me ke ahi lua hinu. Before she learned, um, before learning, yeah. hula with Joseph, she practiced with ke ahi. Good job. Okay, so those are two of her kumu. She had many, but two of her very important kumu that you know these names today. Yeah, some of these names are already um, they sound familiar to us, and those are these kumu. Okay, um, this last one. Let's see what you guys came up with. That also group number two. Can you put your translations in the chat for me, um, Erika? Okay. Uh, Mom. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Who was that? For me. A uh, mamu o ko kavena hala ana i kala twenty one o me nineteen eighty six o vaiho o ia i ka ho ilina aloha. Someone just thought, okay. Aloha no kako. Sorry, I had a box pop up. Um, before kavena passed away on May twenty first, nineteen eighty six, she left. I think we came up with a legacy of aloha for all. Good job. Yeah, that's exactly it. She left a legacy of love for all of us to enjoy and to take part in. Um, good job. This group, you guys had probably the longest sentences, but you guys got them all good. Maikai. Thank you. Okay, next group was the Mahope O Ki Apepeke, um, group number four. You want to start yours? And sorry, group number three, if you can send your translations in. Ago Mahope o ko kavena hanao ya ana ua hanai ya oya ki ona tutu. Before kavena birthing. After, after, yeah. After Kavena gave birth, 
he adopted was adopted by her grandmother. Good job. Okay. Um, yeah, to two grand grandparents. Um, I think you said be after Kavena gave birth. Um, so more the Hano Ia shows that she was born. So after Kavena was oh, born. Yeah. After she was born. Um, okay. Yeah, no worries. It's kind of confusing. So after Kavena was born, she was adopted by her um, tutu, her grandma. Her name was Poai. Okay. I think it was her mom's mom. All right, number two, same group. Ma hope o ko kavena a oana akuma kamehameha ua hana oya ma puna ho. Kalamai. After, after Kavena's teaching at Kamehameha, she worked at Puna Ho. Good job. So, yeah, she taught at both those schools, Kamehameha and Puna Ho, and then ended up staying at her final job, which we'll, we'll learn about later on. Okay, and the last person in the group, the Pumahala. Mahope o ko Kavena, ako ana i ka Hawaiian dictionary, ua haku. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, no, oh yeah, 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 Nana Ike Kumu. And I think we came up with, after she created the Hawaiian Dictionary, she wrote Nana Ike Kumu. I think Good. that means look at the teacher. Yeah, look at the teachers or look to the source is the translation. But yeah, that's a book title. Good, yeah, so two of the very important books that we have today. Well, not, the, not this version, but the, the yellow and purple version. Okay. Um, all right. Can you, oh, thank you, Carrie, for putting that in the translation. Carrie knows the way. Okay, let's go to E, Ana, our um, while or when, Ana. Group number five. Um, Na a lehu, ua a o oia e pili ana i kona aina hanau. Um, um, while Kavena was Hello? Did I freeze? Yeah, okay. I think she it's left so accidentally. Oh, okay. I'm going to assume accidentally. Okay. Well, she'll probably be back soon. So the second person in the group. <laughs> okay. Um, for the second prompt or yeah, finish she, reading the first one? Yeah, when she comes back, she can do the first. Okay. If she comes back. Iko kavena hele kula ana. Wa nukumau oya no ka olalo hawaiiana. Um, while Kavena was going to school, she nagged for speaking Hawaiian. So our gist is she fought to speak olalo. Yeah. Or to it speak Hawaiian. Or she yeah. fought for the Hawaiian language, for the speaking of Hawaiian language. If Nuku came up as nagged, I think it might Nag, have... complain, grumble. Yeah. In my head, I was like, protest in a good way. Maybe it was Namu. I was looking for scolded, so she was more scolded for... Okay. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's... Okay, showed. that was one. Okay, good. But yeah, yeah, okay, that makes that makes sense too. All right, well. It was quoted for speaking Hawaiian language. Which, or, you know, okay. that kind of pushed her yeah. to learn more Hawaiian and, and to teach yeah. more Hawaiian. So, yeah. That makes sense. Okay, and then the last one. Oh, there she is. The third one, and then Biaka, when she comes back, can do the first one. You want to try the third one? Yeah. Iko kavena hakumeleana ua haku o marilam ikaleo onamele. I'm I'm not a good translator, but uh, we have like the the idea that both were uh, composers of uh, of a song or music. Yeah. 
That so, uh, one was like the the lyric composer and the other one the voice or something yeah. like that. So um, I guess if you kind of break it down, so when Kavena wrote the songs, so she actually wrote the, the words, Maddie Lamb wrote the melody of the songs. Okay. And that's the, probably the most famous pair of composers there are. I don't think Kavena didn't know how to write melodies, but she gave most of her songs to other people to write them. Yeah, but yeah, good. You guys got the gist, so that's my guy. Uh, Bianca, you think you can go back to the first one? Oh yeah, sorry. I ko kavena noho ana ma na alehu hua ao oya e piliana i kona aina hano. Um, while while living in um while she lived in na alehu, she learned about her birthplace. Yes, so she learned about her Aina Hana or her birthday. Cool. Yeah. We taught? No, learn, right? Yeah. Yeah, learned. Yeah, in this context would be learned. Um, okay, good job, group number five. Can you put your translation in? Yes, Kapoa, that's a good one. So I'm actually going to change this to Wanuku Mau Ia Oya. So the Ia shows the scolded part. Okay, thanks for that um, correction. Yeah, because Nuku would be, she would be the one scolding. Um, Okay, good. And then the last one is our no ana for the purpose of or in order to. And that's our last group. Good job, everyone. Everyone did really good. Oh, go ahead. Oh, oh, yeah, we'll just go in order. So if Holly's going to do the first one, yeah, let's make a. Holly, you can do the first one. Okay. Wa nee o kavena e o ahu no kahele kula ana ma kawai ha o. Kavena moved to Oahu for the purpose of going to school at Kawai ha o. Perfect. That's exactly translated how I would translate it. Good job. So yeah, I don't know if she moved to Oahu for that reason, but once she moved here, she ended up going to Kawai ha o Seminary School. Okay. Number two. I can take the second one. So, Wahui o Kavana me kea hinua hine no kea o ana i kahula me na maka. So, uh, Kavana met with kea hinua hine um, for the purpose of learning hula with na maka. Yeah, and na maka was Pat Bacon, her Hana yeah. daughter. Okay, cool. Uh, and then the last one, and we're done. Who's also, who else was in the group? Olehua. Lehua, you get him? Hi. Wahua kai o kavena apuni o hawaii no ka ni na u ele ana ina kuna. Kavena travel around Hawaii for interviewing the elders. Yeah, good. So Kavena traveled the huakai around Hawaii for the purpose of interviewing the elders or for interviewing the elders this way. Okay, good job. I think everyone got their part. If you didn't put your translation into the, into the chat, please do that for us. And yeah, I think that's it. Yep, we're at the end. So um, the homework for this on the Google slides, I'll upload it later on tonight. I don't, I don't know if I saw much um, mistakes, but yeah. Uh, next class is next week, the 27th, same time. I think we're going to be talking about a new structure, which is the Kalele Akena, the actor emphatic structure. So we'll get into that next week. Um, but before we go into our Kanikapila part, any questions about any of these Ana things? No? We're good. Uh, yes, um, so I was confused. Is the Anna always going to be ING? Like Kavena's birth, after Kavena's birthing? 
Yeah. So no, it's not. Um, I think oh. it's good to have that in your in your mind, but again, it's not going to be literally translated. You could, but you wouldn't necessarily say that in English. Yeah, birthing right. or whatever. So I mean, yeah. Just know that the ana is there, the ing is there, but translate it as normal as you would. So like okay. after Kavana gives birth instead of after Kavana's birthing or being born, you know, that kind of stuff. Does that make sense? Yes. I just had this conversation with Lehi Ilani. Um, if you get the gist of it, then it's Mekai. You don't have to necessarily translate each word in order, you know, so yeah. And I'm not gonna call you out on it unless it's like completely opposite from what you're trying to translate. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Me. Yeah. So, no. it, <laughs> so it is not always say for like say for instance dancing. Yeah. It will not always use the ing, but we need to translate it as to where. Like you wouldn't just tell Auntie Mililani about the, you know, birthing. Yeah, yeah. Would, yeah. Okay. So like if you use make make yao ika hula ana, I like dancing. Um, mm -hmm. You can also say make make yao, um, or I like to dance. But okay. I'm, it just, you know, it kind of depends on what you want to translate it as. It's, mm -hmm. This one is kind of up to you. Um, I would try and find the ing just so that you know, you know, this is an ana sentence. Yeah, okay. if you if you can. Okay, mahalo doi. Yeah, no worries. Any other questions? Okay, I'm gonna in honor of her laha now. I'm gonna sing a few of her songs that I love. And if we have any hula, you know, you know the drill. And Helani, what do you have any favorite Miracle Vanapukui songs? Po ahihi. Or anyone. Isn't um one of the classics she wrote that Maddie Lamb put music to was Ke Aloha, yeah? Was that one of them? I don't know if she wrote it. I I always knew it as oh. a tradition. Oh, I didn't, because I think Maddie Lamb did the music, right? Yeah, definitely. To that music. one. Music, yeah. But let's see. Uh, what music. else? Which? Oh, Lake Collins. Yes, Lake Collins wrote that. Oh, Lake Collins. And she did Pua Ahihi. She did Pua Ahihi. Yeah, Mary Kavena. Um, I'll do that one, but can I please, like, put on my jacket? <laughs> please. I didn't know I was going to dance. Can I have, like, can you guys talk a little while I put on my jacket? Yeah, we'll talk. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, okay, Erika. We will. Yeah, if you have to leave, I'll see you guys. Reef, I'm trying to figure out what you're saying. Oh my god, you're too much. Oh, Reef, you can go ahead. Oh, Reef, you're too much. Oh, Reef, you're too much. You're funny. Okay, yeah, so what are some of your guys' favorite songs from Mary Kavana Pukui, if you know that what she wrote? For me, anything she wrote is probably one of my favorites. But my absolute favorite is Kaunui. And we, as Keoho, we always sing that song. Um, what else does she have? Pua Hihi, Ekoa'e, Pua Lilelehua, Pola Ila'i is another one. While she goes, I'll probably, oh, let me sing a few. Thank 
Black hair, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can. Let me spotlight you. There you go. Okay. Okay. Aloha, everybody. <laughs> Lena, do you have a favorite song from Mary Coven of Pukui? <laughs> Auntie Helen, he just went hula on. Yeah. Poor he he is. Mine and Sam's um, love song. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, let's maybe I'll do one more. What else do I know for Kapoor said that she would do, um, I have a favorite from Luther. <laughs> what? Which... <laughs> I could do Luther. No, I'm not. I can't. I need to practice. All right, let's do this one. Ooh, I don't know the words. Sorry, Auntie. Hey, aloha. Oh, 
Thank you, everyone. I'll see you guys on next week. Love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.